Hi, everybody. Welcome to Connecticut Style. I'm Jocelyn Momenta. Teresa has a day off. Thanks so much for joining us. Coming up, fall is the perfect time for home projects. And because room makeovers are on many people's to-do lists, we are reaching back into our archives to revisit a segment with George Alt from Niels Wood Floors to show you how to dramatically change the look and feel of a room with the right kind of wood flooring. Plus, Teresa recently caught up with the great tenor Aaron Caruso, and wait till you hear him sing. He has such an amazing voice that will certainly lift your spirits. And I'm here with Dr. Ellen Bass and Sophia Khan, the co-authors of the cookbook, Students Go Gourmet. It's great to have you both with us. Great to Thank be you. here. This is great your first cookbook? Yes. yes, our first cookbook. And how would you describe the recipes in this cookbook? Easy, simple, quick, gourmet, on a budget. Perfect. With little twists. Everything has a little twist, something that you might not think about putting an ingredient into something. We'll add cardamom to something or cumin to something you might not think or pomegranate juice. Okay. So and very fun. And what are we going to be making today? Well, today I'll be making a honey cashew spread, which is a go-to recipe. It's so simple. Auntie's going to be making a fig gorgonzola portobello mushroom penne. And since it's autumn and it's almost Thanksgiving, we brought a treat for everyone here. We've got our own pumpkin bread, which we've lightened up with some pomegranate juice and some yogurt and some honey, and a little bit of that cardamom I was talking about. And then we've got something you can actually fool your Thanksgiving guests with if you'd like to. This looks like pumpkin pie, but it's actually pumpkin tiramisu. I cannot wait, because I love pumpkin. It's going to be so yummy. I can already tell. Let's tell everybody right now what they need to do. Take a look at this camera over here. Sit back and relax. You're having lunch with style. Congressman Chris Murphy attacks Linda McMahon. She supported sunsetting Social Security, ending Social Security. But Murphy isn't telling us the truth. The Hartford Current calls Murphy's attack baseless and false. The Current goes on to call the lie Murphy tells more nastiness and getting in the mud. Linda McMahon will fight to protect and preserve Social Security and Medicare for our seniors and for future generations. I'm Linda McMahon, and I approve this message. When your Medicare Advantage plan is there for you, you can keep doing the things you love, which is why WellCare Medicare Advantage plans give you extra Medicare benefits at no extra cost. I play because WellCare is in tune with me. In fact, call now to learn how you can get a free $10 Walgreens wellness card. Our plans have great things like no monthly premium, no or low co-pays to see your doctor, many generic drugs at no cost, and even brand name coverage. Plus, you'll enjoy extra dental, vision, and hearing benefits, and even free gym memberships, rides to your doctor, and over-the-counter medicines every month. That's a lot more benefits with no monthly premium. I sing because WellCare listens to me. Call the number on your screen right now to learn how you can get a free $10 Walgreens wellness card. Get more from your Medicare Advantage plan. WellCare is here. Let's talk. When it comes to changing the look and feel of a room, start by looking at the floor. Our next guest says you can transform your space dramatically by refinishing or installing new floors. George Alt is the office manager at Niels Wood Floors, also our Stage 8 sponsor. It's always great to have you with us, George. Always great to be back. Thanks, <laughs> Jocelyn. Well, let's talk about Niels Wood Floors. It really, you, you offer so much more than what it says. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right, and I'd like to take a minute just to talk about it. Uh, Niels Wood Flooring, for those that don't know, uh, was established in 1976. So for the last 36 years, we've really been servicing our Connecticut customers. One of our biggest strengths really is our personnel. We're very fortunate to have such a dedicated staff at Neal's. Uh, in our Brantford location, we have our customer service support. Uh, we have our uh, flooring specialists that man our showroom every day. And we have our on-the-road salesmen. So all of us really are dedicated to trying to make your flooring experience as pleasant as possible. One of our biggest assets, in addition to our staff, is really our showroom. I think we have a couple yeah, of pictures. Yeah, let's take a look at those pictures, and here's one of them. Right. We have over 5,000 square feet of showroom space. We have over 1,000 products on display. Uh, this is one picture of one area of the showroom. I think we have a second picture. This is the other area of the showroom. One thing just to point out here is the floor itself. You'll notice a number of different designs. We've actually installed most of the common products that people use today on our floor. 
So people that want to come in and take a look, what will it look like a year from now? What's it look like in a bigger sample? They can come in and see that. So they can get a clear picture as to what it will look like in their own home. Exactly right. Exactly. It's hard to tell from a small sample sometimes. So seeing a little bigger area is actually helpful. Well, is it easy to refinish or install new flooring? It, it is easy, but it's also there's a lot of details to it. So for example, in your I'm house, sure. <laughs> if, if you called me up and said I want to either put a floor in or I want to refinish, the easy part is we're going to schedule one of our salesmen to come out. It's a free estimate. We'll come out, we'll discuss with you what your requirements are. We'll measure the rooms, we'll make some suggestions as to what we're going to do. Uh, we'll set up a proposal, give you a price, we'll agree upon it, obviously. So that's the easy part. Now you call me and tell me I'm ready to go. Now the, the detail really, or, or the success of the whole project, is really going to be in the details. You're going to want to know, uh, we have to schedule the delivery of material. We've got to schedule the installers to come out. We've got to schedule refinishing crews to come out. You, you're going to ask me, when are they going to be there? Who's going to be there? How long does it take? Yes. Can I walk on the floors? What do I do with the refrigerator? What do I do with the furniture? What do I do with the <laughs> furniture? When can I move back into the house? All those are little details. Granted, they're small. Those are little. They're, they're, well, they're, they're details that need to be uh, addressed and talked about. So uh, well, that's really the reason why uh, Niels Woods Flooring has been so successful. Our customer service reps understand these issues. Our salesmen in the field understand these issues. Our goal really is to make sure you as the customer understand what we require of you and also you as the customer understand what we're going to provide. Well, it's always nice when you walk in to be greeted by a very friendly salesman and you have so many there. Well, we, we, we take pride in trying to really assist the customer as best we can to try to make it really successful. When we work together, the results are phenomenal. And you actually say that uh, one of them is in charge of the entire showroom, so you really need to look out for him. Well, uh, Doug Downer actually is, our, is in charge of our showroom. He's one of our flooring experts. He's really the guy that has a lot of knowledge on a lot of different materials. Uh, people really would like to come in and talk to Doug about their requirements. Many people will bring us a picture. You know, they've, they've looked in a catalog. They've seen a picture of a kitchen. They say, I want my floor to look like this. And in many cases, we can duplicate it. But there are some cases where that floor really isn't right for that house, that location, that environment, mm -hmm. et cetera. So we try to make sure that not only do we give the, uh, the customer what they'd like, but also try to guide them to make sure they make the right choice. You actually uh, brought some pictures of some of the best results you have out right, there. It's always, take a look at this. It's always good to see the before <laughs> and after. You're absolutely right. Uh, staining a floor is very popular. This is actually a picture of uh, a floor that we've half stained right at this point. Um, so we've, we've put a color to part of it. We're going to obviously continue and put the color to the rest of it, but just to show you the difference between the natural look and the color. Oh, and this look is, at that. This is that floor when it's finished. It looks beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, very nice. Uh, this next floor, this is actually an, old, an older floor that's been around since the 50s. It has a number of wear marks to it, uh, stains on it, etc. We sanded it. I uh, refinished it. I think the next picture shows you what it looks like today. Now, how difficult is it to do that, though? I mean, it, it's, it's a pretty straightforward process for is? us. It takes about three days to complete. Uh, you know, it, it, it works pretty well for us. It's what we do every day, so we're very comfortable to try to do that. You're those the are, pros. Those are the results that we expect to get. Uh, we offered uh, one thing that we introduced a couple of years ago to the state is dustless refinishing. Mm -hmm. uh, this is really a picture of uh, an outside vacuum system that we attach to some of the equipment that we use. It really tries to keep the house as clean as possible. We understand that <laughs> it's it's difficult to, to keep it spotless, but this is the cleanest way we can do it. We've done it for a number of years. You, We've been very successful. You know that that's one of the first things you, we ask. How are you going to keep our house clean? Uh, I, I know, I, doing I know, and it's a challenge, and we do the best we can to try to keep the house spotless uh, so that you, you know, really have a minimal e effort to do it. Dustless has been very successful, and it's been very popular for us to do that. All right, you also have some options for pre finished flooring. Yeah, always do. Uh, one of our uh, one of the things that we focus on quite a bit is the, really the, the material side, the pre-finished as well as unfinished. We have a couple pictures. This is a house that we did just recently. Uh, this is what the house looked like at 8 o'clock in the morning. There was carpet down. There's the flooring material that's there. Uh, the next picture shows what the house looked at 5 o'clock that night. So one of the nice things with pre-finished is this, it's a one-day process. In the morning we rip up the carpet, put down the floor, put the furniture back in in the afternoon, and basically it's livable in the evening. So it's been very popular. This is another example. A homeowner had a slate patio in a three-season room. They didn't want to take the slate up. We left the slate down. We glued an engineered pre-finished floor on top of it. It looks spectacular. You did that right on top of the, the on slate on top, on top of the slate, we glued this right on top of it. Never know the difference. It's perfect. Didn't have to deal with trying to take the slate up. It was the right thing to do for the customer, right thing to do for us. Well, how do you know if pre-finished flooring is best for you? That's, that's why you want to come to Neal's. We're going to guide you where pre-finish is the right choice. We'll also tell you where pre-finish maybe isn't the right choice. We're going to try to make sure that you understand the pros and cons of both. It's an excellent product and fits in many, many cases. So what do you take in consideration when it comes to pre-finished flooring? A, a lot of it really comes really, our, uh, the pre-finished floor will look slightly different than an existing hardwood floor that's been down for a number of years. So if we're going to put a, a pre-finished floor in a room right next to a, an existing 
existing floor, we would probably recommend to go with an unfinished product so that they look basically the same. Prefinished is a great example for people that have carpet on the second floor hall and bedrooms. They now want to make that hardwood floor. It's perfect up there. Excellent. Now you also have this special offer for uh, our viewers. Always have something special for Connecticut Styles. You guys have been great and, and, our, and our fans have been great. So uh, dustless sanding, which normally has a surcharge uh, in it, in it, into it because of the equipment that's required. Uh, if you mention that you've seen us on Connecticut Styles, we'll do the dustless sanding at no extra charge. All right. We love that, George. And if you want to learn more, you can contact George all at Neil Woods. Flooring? Flooring, correct. All the information on the screen, just come to our website and we'll have it for you. George, again, it's fabulous to have you here with us. Oh, always great. Thank you very much. <laughs> the right team can make all the difference out on the track. And when it comes to a winning smile, you can rely on the team at Aspen Dental with dentists and staff who treat you with respect and get you the care you need. Right now, new patients get a free exam and x-rays. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL or schedule an appointment at aspendental.com. Win a trip for two to meet me and Tony Stewart in Vegas. You get travel and hotel, pit passes, and even a helicopter ride to the track. Text ASPEN to 47170 and follow the directions to enter. Or enter today at aspendental.com. We finally got the bundle from Cox. And now that our TV, phone, and internet are working together, and my dad has gone a little bundle crazy. Ha! Ah! See that? Phone and TV working together. It's Aunt Shirley calling right there on the television. Shouldn't we answer it? You want to talk to Shirley? With the Cox Bundle, you get high-speed internet, TV, and phone for just $25 each a month. Now with free pro installation and free HBO and stars. Good job, Bundle. Oh, yeah. Switch to the Cox Bundle and get your internet, TV, and phone all seamlessly connected for just $25 each a month with internet speeds two times faster than basic DSL. Now with free pro installation and free HBO and stars. He's really into the bundle. Tyler, come on. look at this. I'm watching three different shows at the same time. Why? Bundle. Hurry, get the Cox Bundle and get your internet, TV, and phone all for one low price. Just $25 each a month, now with free pro installation and free HBO and stars. Switch to the Cox Bundle and start saving today. Call now and find out why more people choose Cox. It's always fun to mix it up in the kitchen and try something new. So today we are going to show you how to use non-traditional fall ingredients to create a fresh autumn-inspired recipe. Joining me today are Dr. Ellen Bass, an award-winning pediatrician and working mom, along with her niece, Sophia Khan, a world travel and recent graduate of Yale and Harvard. And they're sharing a recipe from their first cookbook, Students Go Gourmet, Simple Gourmet for Every Day. Welcome to the both of you. It's great to have you. You actually have Thank you. New Haven roots. We do. We both grew up in New Haven, yes. Love to hear My that. grandfather came here in 1907 from Greece into Fairhaven and had a little ice cream shop, the Grand Spa, and uh, the family's been here ever since. And Sophia? Yes. Yeah, I grew yes. up here, went to high school here at Hopkins just down the street, Wonderful. and uh, we both did master's degrees down in New Haven. That's great. Now, how did this cookbook come about? Well, this was all Sophia's idea, <laughs> and she called me one night very late and asked me to help. Well, what I, we always cook together as a family, and so I learned how to cook from Auntie. And senior year of college, I was cooking a lot for friends, making meals, and I wanted them to be kind of fancy but simple and easy. So I'd call Auntie up and say, Auntie, I need a new recipe. <laughs> we started brainstorming together, and then one night I was you know, doing Greek translations, and I was like, oh my god, we should write a gourmet cookbook for students, because I, I know a lot of, there are sort of college-themed cookbooks, but a lot of them you know, don't really teach you how to do the flair, the gourmet, and on a budget. So we decided to partner up. And then I went to China for six months. When I came back, we started working on it. And how did your, how did your heritage uh, factor in into this cookbook? Uh, we've got Greek, we've got Pakistani, and I think that it, we, growing up for me, going to my grandmother's house, smelling all the smells of her always cooking, it was either chicken or some Greek bread, or making homemade dolmadas with grape leaves that she grew in the backyard um, really inspires me. Well, we can't wait to try this. And what are we making here, Sophia? Well, so I'll be making a honey cashew spread. What are, you, what's your, what are your ingredients? I have some lightly salted cashews. You can get them unsalted, and depending on how much of a little salty zing you like in your dish, um, you can add salt at the end to taste. Uh, we like to use the lightly salted kind. We've got this olive oil. Garlic paste is one of our favorite shopping items because it lasts for a long time. It's a super concentrated garlic flavor, so it helps you um, 
save time, okay. which is a big theme of our book for students because they're busy. Students and, and the rest people of us. Yes. in the world. Yes. yes. <laughs> um, good. And we've got cumin, which is actually I find a really hearty, earthy, smoky spice, and I love to use it in things. I make a, a pumpkin cumin cashew ice cream actually, so we use it a lot in the autumnal recipes. And we thought that would be a fun kind of secret ingredient for the fall to start an autumnal right. feast. Let's go ahead and, and put that Great. together. Okay. We have the cashews. And this is, this is one of my favorite kitchen items. It's a food processor. And um, you can make so many things in this. And, and what is that you're putting in there? That's this the, is the garlic paste. The garlic paste. And you can make um, something like pesto and make a huge batch of it and then have it on a baked potato and pasta and toast. So we try to encourage students to get food processors. And then you have the cumin, and is that pepper there as well? We've got black pepper, yes. And here's the cumin, here's the black pepper. I love that smell. And, and honey. Auntie, I'm going to show you a little you trick. The non-stick cooking me. spray. Oh, here we go. This is our little trick Because honey for can honey. be difficult to get off of a spoon, so you just lightly spray it with Pam. Oh, that's great. I didn't know that. It slides right off. Slides Perfect. right off. You don't have to fight with it. You always learn something new. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. Look how easy that comes out of the And it, it lends a nice sweet flavor that complements the, the spice of the cumin and the black pepper and the garlic. And it slides right off. And is that the last ingredient? Oh, we have Then the we've got oil. olive oil that, that makes things nice and smooth. If you want a smoother consistency, a little less crunch, um, then blend it for longer and you can add even more olive oil. But otherwise... Um, just follow the ingredients on the book and you'll see. Very good. And then you serve oil. it with pita bread. Uh, we serve it. We, we make these toasted cumin pita chips. Oh, you those can, are cumin yeah, pita yeah. chips. Yes. yes, we made those Excellent. this morning. There we okay, go. great. Yes. We have about two and a half minutes left. So, Dr. Bass, let's get you started. Okay. What you're making? I'm going to make a fig and gorgonzola pasta. Very good. And we, figs go wonderfully with strong cheeses like blue cheese or gorgonzola and we pair it in the book with lots of things with a pizza, fig and gorgonzola bites and what we're doing here is we started we've already got sauteed here some shallots and some portobello mushrooms and we are going to add now that they're sauteed down mm -hmm. and they're nice and caramelized I'm just going to put this on add a little bit okay. that's fine a little bit of salt okay. not too much because We've got Parmesan and we've got Gorgonzola, both which are a little bit salty. So you just need a little bit and a little bit of ground pepper. <laughs> Sorry. That's not a problem I'm at all. And then it's very easy. We just add the rest of the ingredients. And what do you have we've there? We've got That's half and half. Okay. You could it use milk really if you wanted good. to. We've got a quarter of a cup here of some nice Parmesan. And, and we've got gorgonzola. eight ounces of this fabulous Gorgonzola. Gorgonzola is a, a little bit... It's, it's, it's sort of a powerful flavor, so if you want to use blue cheese, blue cheese is actually a little bit less pungent and, a little, uh, and okay. not quite That's as strong. Good alternative. And this and is... And then we, this, there's one of our secret, secret ingredients, recipe. this is fabulous. This is yeah. fig spread because figs have two seasons and they're short. One is in the late spring, early summer, and the other is right now. Okay. And once the fresh figs, which are, we have right here, excuse me, are, are gone, you can use this and it's just as delicious. Excellent. So I've got... A couple of teaspoons in here. We have about 45 seconds and left. And then we mix everything together. We're going to let this saute and let all the flavors marry. And is that it? For about 10 minutes. And then we're going to add it to the pasta. And this actually is our finished dish right here is Doesn't what it looks that like. Look fabulous. So 10 minutes in this pan. Mm -hmm. and, that's and that's pretty that's much it. it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Wow. And also, I just want to let everybody know that some of the proceeds from the book is actually helping victims of Hurricane Katrina? Yes, yes. there's a, a mission in the Ninth Ward that's helping rebuild schools and helping people rebuild their homes and it's called Desire Street Ministries and uh, we're very very passionate about Excellent. helping them out. Thank you very much and we're going to touch base with you at the end of the show because we want to try all this fabulous food. Okay? Wonderful. Wonderful. Great. Thank you. Coming up, Teresa recently caught up with a great tenor, Aaron Caruso will bring you his performance right after the break. Judge Judy's Court, they're not just cases, they're topics that affect your life. I'm here to trip you up. The cases get you thinking. You think this is going to be easy? This is not going to be easy. The topics get you talking. You better stop harassing each other. You have a child. Judge Judy. Weekdays at 4 on News 8. 
Congressman Chris Murphy. I don't have to talk about my plan because I have a record. Murphy still doesn't have a jobs plan, but he does have a record of voting against Connecticut jobs. Murphy voted to kill projects at Electric Boat. He voted to raise middle class taxes three times. And he supports across the board budget cuts that could cost Connecticut more than 40,000 jobs. That's Chris Murphy. His jobs plan doesn't exist, but his record is killing us. I'm Linda McMahon, and I approve this message. Goodwill Halloween, we're ready for you. From fun Italian songs to Broadway and popular music, Aaron Caruso delights audiences with his own unique style. Welcome to Connecticut Style. It's great to have you here. Thank you for having me here. Who is your piano player? This is the famous Craig Calistro from Orange. Very nice. Uh, so, Aaron, tell us a little bit about your story. How did you get started? Well, I started singing as a young boy, and um, I was inspired early on by the voice of Mario Lanza, of course, the great Italian-American tenor. And uh, from there, I started singing for my family. Then I went on to college and went to Italy and New York, and, uh, and here I am now. And uh, there's a Broadway show coming up? Yes, I was picked to do the, the Life of Mario Lanza for a new Broadway show. Oh, that's so exciting! Yeah, it's pretty exciting for me. It's a real dream come true for me. And uh, right now, uh, it's been a work in progress, but uh, mm -hmm. still going. So. Good. And uh, a, a variety of music that you sing. Tell yes. us some details. Well, I, I specialize uh, in the Italian music and uh, Neapolitan, uh, classic Neapolitan songs, also operatic arias and uh, classic Broadway. And it's a nice mix of, of different styles. So Now you're spending some time in New Haven uh, because? Because we have a big concert at the uh, Schubert Theater on uh, Saturday. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's in honor of Mario Lanza and, uh, and also for Italian Heritage Month, which mm -hmm. is October. Very good. And uh, it ought to be exciting. And all the information is right there on the screen. The great tenor live in concert, uh, honoring the legacy of Mario Lanza and Italian Heritage Month. As Aaron just mentioned, this Saturday at the Schubert Theater for tickets called 203-624-1825. Now, what are you going to sing for us today? Well, this is a beautiful uh, Neapolitan song, classic song, uh, called uh, Return to Sorrento, Torna Sorrento. All right. Very good. Take it away. All right. Thank you. Mare quanto è bello, spira tanto sentimento, come tu a chi ti è namento, cascetato fai sonna, guarda qua chi sto giardino, siente si è sti arancia. No profumo a così fino dinto cor se ne va se tu dici a parte Dio da lontana da sto cor da sta terra dell'amore tieno cor Non darmi sto dormendo, torna sorriendo, fammo gamba. Parto a Dio, da lontana da sto cor, da sta terra dell'amore, tieno 
cuore non torna, ma non me la so, non dormi sto dormendo, torna so. Scrunch, part of this good breakfast. Crave those crazy squares. There's surprising news about whole grain. Now, all General Mills Big G Kid cereals have more whole grain than any other ingredient. In cereals like Lucky Charms and Cinnamon Toast Crunch, the delicious way to help them grow up strong. Linda McMahon doesn't need Social Security. She's worth millions. Maybe that's why she's called for a sunset provision for Social Security. I believe in sunset provisions when we pass uh, this kind of legislation. That could end Social Security, and we'd have to fight to renew it. McMahon's also open to ending Medicare's guaranteed benefit, just like Romney and Ryan. Linda McMahon, in it for herself, not for you. The Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee is responsible for the content of this advertising. Tonight, sharks beware, because she's got bite. We've got more fans on Facebook than you do. You're halfway in a body bag without the zipper pulled up. Shark Tank, all new tonight, 8, 7 central on ABC. The season premiere of Happy Endings. Wait, what? ABC Tuesday. If I won $1,000 a day. Play Lucky for Life from the Connecticut Lottery, and you could win up to $1,000 a day every day for life. Learn to play I and play croquet. We're dresses that are a little risque. And all I have to do is play. And this Saturday, the Healing Institute of Beings presents Vibrant Healing and Inner Peace are within your reach. To learn more about it, go to healingbeings.org. And we're back in the kitchen ready to eat the food. And as you can see, here's the, the pasta sauce all ready to go. Look at the consistency. It's fabulous. It smells great, too, Dr. Bass. Thank you. And we're ready to try this. I cannot wait. Now, everybody, again, the book is Students Go Gourmet. Where do you get the cookbook? Amazon.com or BarnesandNoble.com or in some Barnes and Noble stores as well. Great. And we should help you like it. Oh, I'm going to love this. And again, the, re the recipes will be on either our website. So be sure to try it. We want to thank all of our guests today. Thank Dr. You Ellen so much. Bass and Sophia Khan, George Olt and Aaron Caruso. But most of all, thank you all for watching. Make it a great day, everybody. Thank you for thank having you. us. You're welcome. Delicious.